it's Megan and welcome back to a seasonal abode. So two weeks ago I took you through my gardens for a spring garden tour. However, it's still spring and there are some flowers that are blooming since then that I thought I would like to show you. So this is going to be a late spring garden tour. I'm going to be walking through the same gardens I walked through last time. We did have one major change as last week that lilac that I was so excited was going to bloom ended up not coming back. A few years ago we had an ash tree that needed to be removed and in the process it landed on our lilac. We gave it a few years to see if it would bounce back, however lilacs can be kind of picky. So we ended up removing that last week. You're going to see on the drone footage as it goes up there are some mini X lines on the grass. It's because we needed to use that to get that lilac out. So in the place of the lilac I ended up purchasing a crimson clean Japanese maple. It is a slow growing maple, but it will eventually get two meters in height. So I thought that would be the perfect height to add to our garden. So I hope you enjoy this tour. Come along, let's look at the gardens. So welcome back to my backyard garden. Here's an overview of it right now. You can see the mini X treads on the grass there. Sometimes you just need to make a bit of a mess to make things look more beautiful again. So that open area was where the lilac was. To the right is the Crimson Queen Japanese Maple. And to the left, I transplanted my Firelight Hydrangea. There is a little bit of an open area there, but I'm not too worried. I think these plants will fill it in quite nicely. The Dianthus is in full bloom right now. And beside the Dianthus is a Wagala. This is um, a miniature Wagala, so it won't get full grown. Then we have some purple Columbine. This is a great perennial if you're looking for something that reseeds itself. The allium are popping up in just the right spots right now. And this is my dwarf Albert spruce. I love the bluey green needles. They uh, contrast really nice in the garden with the deeper greens and the reds. The rose I was mentioning in my last tour is called a multiflora rose. And then we have the ladies mantle and that's the backyard garden. So just off to the side of my backyard garden is my deck garden. And since my last tour, these hostas have really started to bloom out. There's different varieties in there. Off the top of my head, the only variety that I absolutely know the name of is the Autumn Frost Hosta. The Gelder Rose, or the Snowball Bush Viburnum, is full of blooms right now. And it is absolutely beautiful. Here's all the different hosta leaves. And then behind the hostas, is my summer wine nine bark and it is also in bloom right now isn't that cool here's an overview uh, from the side of what the garden looks like and then above these hostas and Solomon seal is the gelder rose it looks so beautiful first thing in the morning and as the sun sets filters through those blossoms it's actually um, showering down little white blossoms right now it's kind of like it's snowing it's kind of fun so moving on to the driveway garden I'm gonna go up above so you can get a little bit of an overview of what the driveway garden looks like right now and the salvias are in bloom right now these are really great for pollinators the bees absolutely love the salvias peonies are getting ready to bloom. I have double peonies. And here is a Royal Palace Coral Bells. Love the purple leaves. I think they look really cool. There's a marshmallow of a peony. Poppies. Poppies are so beautiful. The, their petals are like tissue paper and they're so delicate looking. Our creator really did wonderful work when he made poppies. There's a close-up of salvias and then an overview kind of from the side more of how the plants are situated beside each other. So this is the last garden. It's my front garden. I've added in some annuals to bring a pop of color into the beds. The snow in summer is in full bloom. It's like a carpet of white flowers. It's really cool. This is the Barbary that was hiding in my last video. I never noticed until this year that it has yellow flowers. These are Allium, in case anybody's wondering, these purple flowers. So many people ask me about those. Those are so cool. 
This is a new perennial. It's a garden sage or salvia, some hens and chicks. And then to the right of the garden, I have these beautiful buttery yellow irises. The sun is coming up behind them. These are from my mother's garden and I transplanted them in two years ago. Here's a bit of an overview from the side of the front garden. And then beside those irises to the far right of the front garden are these pink columbine. And then above the pink columbine, I have three tamarack or larch trees. I think they add so much unique interest to the garden. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour. Thanks for stopping by a seasonal abode. I make one new video every week on simple living, gardening, and home decor. I hope to be back again in the summer with another garden tour.